Hi, I'm Aaron Merch from 2H Media. In this video, we're going to take a look at the true or false content type in Shopify's online store 2.0. On the meta field definition page, I've already entered a name and description for my meta field and selected the true or false content type. I've named the meta field requires assembly. And under the description, I've included some instructions for internal staff. Mark true if the product requires assembly. The true or false content type doesn't have any additional settings or validation. It creates a Boolean variable which allows internal staff to toggle a setting on or off. Since there's nothing else to change about the meta field, let's hit save and take a look at the product page to see how it looks in the back end of Shopify. Our new meta field appears at the bottom of the product page. When we click into the field, a true and false set of radio buttons appears, as well as the description we entered for our meta field. The true or false content type is a very powerful tool which can be paired with custom development to show or hide parts of the product page based on internal user selections. For most Shopify merchants, I recommend staying away from this content type since you won't be able to unlock its full potential without the help of a developer. If you followed along with this entire video, you should have a good idea of what the true or false content type is. To better understand how content types and meta fields can be used to customize your online store, check out our video on creating a meta field in Shopify's online store 2.0.